Hey, what's up guys, it's Checkmate Flips, and today we are gonna talk about business credit. And while most people on social media talk about business credit and they talk about how you can grow and scale and buy more profitable inventory and make more profit per month because of scaling, oftentimes we don't take the time to actually think about the downsides to using credit. And so this is something that you definitely should be thinking about if you're gonna use credit or if you are thinking about scaling your Amazon FBA business. This is gonna be a really short and to the point video. Basically, people talk about business credit as if you can just bankrupt your business and get out of that business debt. Is this true? I know for a while I was using a personal credit card in order to scale on Amazon. And the reason I wanted to even use a business card in the first place place was two reasons. First of all, I wanted a bigger credit limit. And then second of all, people talk about how if you have an LLC and you separate your personal and your business, that that keeps your business not on the hook for bankruptcy. So this isn't personal advice and you should do your own research. But from what I've found, a lot of business cards are what's called personally guaranteed. And so because they're personally guaranteed, that means you are on the hook in worst case scenarios where you can't pay off the credit. In worst case scenario for Amazon sellers is usually something like getting scammed a majority of your inventory or getting suspended. Because in a lot of suspensions, you end up not getting your payout and not getting your inventory in some cases. And so I think as I was scaling over the beginning of this 2022, I had the thought that if I were to get suspended, I would just bankrupt the business, the debts would get cleared, and personally, life would be absolutely, absolutely fine. And because of that point of view, and again, I feel like I never hear anyone talking about this, about the downsides of business credit, I felt like my business was safe and personal assets were safe in the case of continuing to scale higher and higher with a business credit card. Like at one point I had over 100,000 in credit card bills and that was more than what my personal accounts had. And so if my account were to get suspended, I wouldn't have gotten my inventory back and I would have had to pay back that debt. And that is a, a bad situation to be in. So I think taking risks is often a good choice if you know what you're doing and you have a sustainable, profitable business, but you definitely should have this in mind when thinking about scaling an Amazon FBA business. Because if you make bad purchasing decisions or if you make mistakes and get suspended and you have a business debt, you're gonna have to pay that back. You're still responsible for it. And so there are probably other ways to get business capital without being personally guaranteed for it but a lot of these business credit cards from what i found you did personally guarantee in order to get them they used your personal credit score so with that being said you should actually run your business as if you're responsible for the money like don't take unnecessary risks as far as like selling things with ip issues or selling things in not the best condition or not doing your prep correctly these are things you need to be responsible for and actually thinking about and at the end of the day this makes sense why would lenders lend money super easily to people who aren't responsible to pay them back. That makes complete sense from the lender's point of view. I'm also not sure why people don't talk about this. Maybe I was just assuming that it was a business debt and so therefore it would get cleared with the business bankruptcy. Maybe everyone else knows that and I don't. Either that or other people just make assumptions like I did and were probably running their business a little bit riskier than they needed to. So this video isn't meant to be the research itself. I would strongly suggest you guys to actually do your own research and that way you can actually understand the amount of risk that you're taking and take an appropriate amount of risk for yourself and your business. So if this was helpful to your business, then please feel free to help out my business by liking and subscribing. Hope to see you soon and take care.